Hello everybody. This is this is um beginning of another All Washington rant series. Um the the title of this rant series is entitled Broken Men, Broken Woman Equals a Broken Relationship. But only God can restore it. Once again, it's broken men, broken woman equals a broken relationship. But only God can restore it. <clears throat> And this on in this on particular rant, this rant is gonna be different from any other rant that I ever did. This rant is gonna be more of a um, more of a actual teaching rant. Um, and this rant, um, I'm, I'm so uh, adamant and so serious about this this particular rant that um, I'm also doing more more a more tradi traditional method in order for your in order to um, clarify to bring together what, what I'm talking about in this rant. So what I'm doing this time is that uh, instead of me just talking, uh, and I'm actually going to teach and I, and I actually have a foundation of scripture too that I'm going to use in the Bible, in the Bible, in this rant. You know, um, the foundation of scripture that, that I'll be uh, using will be on uh, Genesis chapter 3 verse, um, verse uh, 9 through 13 or 14, one of two. It'd be Genesis chapter 3, verse 9 through 13 or 14. And so just, just let y'all know how serious I am about this right now. Let, let, us, um, let, us, let us pray real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, Father, we just ask that you just um, be with me as I want to deliver this um, rant series, Lord. Father, I just ask that you just give, give me the uh, the wisdom and the insight to just really express this um, rant Um adequately Lord to where everybody could just understand the message that you're trying to portray Lord Father Father Juan it's my desire Lord to just um to be a be a one um, a focal point Lord to just uh, allow people to uh, hear the message that need to be said and that need to be taught Lord and let people know that even though you um even though you're you're in, in a broken relationship, even though that you're you're broken as a man or even as a woman, that use the, the restoration, use the restore of that brokenness, Father. And Father, I just um, thank you for your insight and your knowledge, Lord, and your teaching that, that you want to give to us, Father. Father, I just thank you so much right now. Amen. So let, let us let us read Genesis chapter three, verse Genesis chapter 3, we start at verse 9, and it says this. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hide myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Has thou eaten of the tree, wherefore I commanded, commanded thee that thou should not eat? And the man said, The woman who thou givest, gavest to be with, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the woman and the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this, what is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Now, uh, the, the reason why I'm using Genesis chapter 3, um, and I should use the Bible prayer for this particular rant, is that um, I want to use this as as a focal point, as a as a um as many people say a basis for for the um for for the one um, topic of a, a topical sermon or you know foundation scripture whichever one whichever part you want it to be that's what it's going to be and stuff and the thing I want to um bring out is that first of all what is it that I mean about a broken man a broken woman equals broken relationships. Let me clarify myself about this. Um, in in um in many relationships and stuff, right? Me y'all y'all probably either dealing dealing with this now, or you probably have previously dealt with this in your past and stuff. Is that um, do you you being in a certain certain type of relationship and you put everything into the relationship? You know, you you put your your love, your affection, you put everything you want to put. Um, um, your finance into it, you put every possible thing into this relationship and stuff, right? That ultimately what end up happening, what end up happening is that once when you put everything into it, you begin to have situations, you begin to have problems that test the relationship and stuff, right? There what what end up happening is that 
um, if if the uh, if the two parties, the man and the woman, is not strong enough to be together, then ultimately their relationship is going to fail. It's going to fall apart. So, well, what I'm saying about this is that first of all, uh, as a man and a woman, you you have to uh, know that um, when you go into relationships, period of stuff is that. It's so custom in our culture to bring what, what is known as baggage into our relationship. But what I'm talking about by baggage, you, you know, the one, when I'm talking about baggage, I'm talking about the access thing that you have. You, you know, when you go on a trip and you just um, pack a whole lot of clothes, uh, you, you begin to pack all the necessity, necessity stuff that you need in order, you know, in order to be, um, in order to, uh, survive in your travel. So, you know, wherever it is that you're going and stuff, you know, but also at the same time, you know, you get into a point, you get into a mindset where you be like, dang, you know what I'm saying? I need to um get this, I need to get this, I need to get an extra pair of shoes, I need to get an extra pair of clothes and stuff like that. Then what's going to happen is, is that you know, be having excess baggage and stuff. You end up having uh, more stuff than what you need. Then what happens is that, well, what end up happens is that you end up um, carrying a weight, a load and stuff, right? Then what's then. That low becomes so heavy and stuff, right? That it that would be almost nearly impossible for you to um to um manage and stuff. You know, it takes a whole whole lot of effort to manage. You know, and I want y'all to pay attention to what I'm saying about the effort and the manage part. That's what happens when you know you be in relationships and stuff. You bring all this baggage into the relationship is that it be so hard to manage you know what I'm saying and like the then, then you have a person that cares about you and stuff right whether it's man or woman which I'm talking about both both foreign parties by the way the man and the woman you know what I'm saying you end up uh, have a, all this baggage all this weight on you then the person if they love you they gonna want to take the load off and try to help you and stuff and this is the beginning of what the relationship starts to fail at is that you begin to you begin to rely on that person to take the load off for you and stuff you know what I'm saying then what end up happening is that once when that person start getting into the process of taking that load off for you, you you begin to say like, well, this is what they're supposed to do. If they love me, then they then they need to want to do this for me all the time. Instead of realizing that it is your responsibility to get rid of the load. Why is it your responsibility to get, get rid of the load in the first place? Because you was the one who packed the load in the first place. You was the one who want to pack the bag up. You just use the one who who add all the excess stuff into your baggage and stuff to begin with. And thus, this is the reason why relationships are the way that they are. Then they end up putting, then you end up putting a certain type of standard, or as I say, conditions into the into the relationship and stuff. And when I'm talking about conditions, I'm talking about set rules and regulations that you that you unfairly try to make your significant other follow. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it could be anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, um. Uh, my one, my one, my particular rule when I was when I was married, um, one 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 of my one one of um, my wife's my ex wife particular rule was this is that um, she she had dealt with a traumatic experience and stuff in her life where ultimately um, ultimately uh, her, um, her 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 parent or her mother end up um, you know end up passing away. Because of a um, domestic dispute situation and stuff, so that that they end up on um, traumatizing my wife and stuff, right? And she never got over that and stuff, right? So what she ended up doing, she ended up bringing that particular condition or that standard into the relationship and stuff, right? And saying like, "Hey, um, this is why I dealt with in the past and stuff, right?" So, um, so in other words, I don't want. I don't want to deal with this in my relationship. So if I end up dealing with this in my relationship, then the relationship is going to be over. Likewise, the same thing with me and stuff. My particular thing was that I've not dealt with a whole lot of um whole whole lot of particular traumatic stuff within my life and stuff too. You know, watching my um specifically watching my father being a um. Uh, being being a uh, alcoholic and stuff like that and stuff where he wasn't too much around for us, he wasn't too much dirt for us and everything and stuff, right? So 
my my particular condition was that hey i don't i don't want my relationship my match to be the same exact way so i'm not going to do this and do that and therefore i don't want my wife to you know be part of you know be you know be an alcoholic and all this stuff as well and stuff you know what i'm saying so that was the conditions that we set but however unfortunately the conditions or the terms of the condition or you can even say the contract and stuff right was breached when one of us breached the one the terms of the condition once when the terms of condition was breached that was it that's a wrap it created problems it created situations and stuff like that where ultimately at the very end both of us end up becoming becoming hurt and ultimately we end up becoming broken and so what what i'm saying about this is that man and woman talking about both man and woman and stuff when you get into when you enter into these relationships and stuff right you can you you cannot enter into these relationship being broken or having your baggage you know what i'm saying as well you know what i'm saying you you can't enter into the relationship having an expectation for your husband or having an expectation for your wife or even like in these times you know what i'm saying we 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 um doing doing the whole date sh- dating scene and stuff right so you can't enter into a, a um a boyfriend or a girlfriend relationship I already have an excess baggage and having these people in an expectation to fix you you know what I'm saying? No, you can't do that. The reason why is because that's unfair for both parties. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't fix you. You know what I'm saying? It's only one source, and that's right there, the cross, right there. God is the only one who can fix you. You know what I'm saying? God is the only one who can fix your brokenness and your problems and situations that, that happens and occur and stuff like that. Only he can do that. You know what I'm saying? Not nobody else can do it. Not even a therapist, not anybody, not even me. You know what I'm saying? By me doing this rant, I can't fix you, but what I can do, I can um I can want God and lead you and stuff into you know certain areas where you can want to really challenge your yourself and see what is it that you're doing and stuff where where you can want to uh, deal with this relationship and stuff you know what I'm saying where you can deal with yourself. So uh, as as I come to a close of this and part two is coming coming soon is that first of all I want to I want to let y'all know that it's a whole lot of y'all out there that are broken. And you want to enter two relationships and stuff, but you're broken. That, that you're so broken and stuff. And then when you enter into the relationship, you wonder why the relationship doesn't last long. It's because you're broken. You bring situations into the relationship and stuff. Instead of being instead of being real about it, instead of you know instead of first allowing God to work on you first. If you allow God to work on you and work on yourself, then the relationship is going to be successful. My time is up. Uh, like I always, um, fight faith with faith. I love y'all, and I'll see, see y'all soon. Peace.